In the first half cycle, the lubricant is pumped from the permanent pressure line into the main line A and the main line B is connected to the permanent relief line. The lubricant, which is also the control medium for the system, is supplied to the metering devices. The pistons of the metering devices are moved into their adjusted end positions, thus dispensing an exact metered quantity of grease. Once all metering devices have dispensed their lubricant to the consumption point, the system is hydraulically closed. This means the supply of lubricant is closed for further consumption, unlike other systems that use solenoid valves which are subjectable to wear and leakage instead of two-line metering devices. Because the system is hydraulically closed, the pressure in the main line A rises and is measured by the pressure transducer. The control unit turns the pump off and signals the changeover valve to relieve main line A. At this point, half of the lubrication points in the system have been lubricated. In the second half cycle, main line B is pressurized and the cycle continues as before.